what advice you will give for anyone who's trying to make it as a content creator the hard advice like three bullet points you need to be like this like that like that and then you can succeed um th- honestly through this jordan peterson writing prompt thing was how subjectively i've been viewing my life and how inaccurate it's actually been for some things not everything there have been some things where i have been lying to myself for like three years and it's just not true like certain things about my personality the things i do i really am not putting in that work over here that's that really yeah. is why i've had the same problem for four years in this exact one department and so i was like so one thing I would say for this is um I would say this specifically for content creators because you're going to deal with this is um if you can take one of those online objective uh try and take one that's like um has a good reputation maybe like maybe even type in the Jordan Peterson one like I took um, but take one of those like personality tests and then like get an objective take on who you are and like I want you to be uh, like brutally honest with yourself because it will reveal things to you that you first off you'll you'll get the you'll get the um the response back and you'll be like that's not true like that's not actually true because because and then you'll realize that you're just making a bunch of because statements in your head to qualify why this objective test just placed you in this category that you don't like and you're like maybe oh maybe i'm not as smart as i think like i don't know how most of this stuff goes on i don't know how my car turns on i don't know how the lights work in my apartment i don't know how the toilet works i don't actually know a lot of things um about life and maybe i don't know as much about me as i thought because i'm having the same problem so i would say take an objective test like that figure out where you're lacking like i was lacking in certain areas in the department of self-discipline that i just wasn't coming to terms with and they were the core uh, reason i couldn't get some of these things done so say first off there and then as far as for content things you're going to deal with uh, 2023 it feels like anyone can just be a content creator real quick if you just put in uh, five minutes of effort. Like, I remember I was like, what would I want to get paid for? And I was like, bro, it'd be sick if I could just get paid to say what I want on camera, period, and just get some sponsor to just stick their energy drink in my in my video and I can get sponsored and I'm happy to live my life just like Joe Rogan. And I remember thinking that and like writing it down and then just looking at it, like looking at my writing on the paper and being like, that might be the most arrogant thing I've ever written in my entire life. I was like, I want to be paid to say <laughs> random stuff as if the things coming out of my mouth are really that on point. Like, who am I? Like, I'm not Gary V. And I remember just being like, wow, that, that's crazy. Like, I have to offer such wow. immense value in some capacity enough times over time in front of the right people in a variety of different ways, by the way. You, you might not be good on front of the camera. And that might take you two years to come to terms with that you're better at writing threads. And thread guy was writing the threads for a while and then was like, bro, I'm better at spaces. <laughs> and he just rolled spaces. And then after a while, he's like, bro, I'm good on video. And he rolled with the vlogs and the interviews. And then he's back on spaces again. Um, but you have to be willing to surf those waves. That was one of the first bits of advice I was given by Greg Norman on the pod. It's like, you have to be willing yeah. to surf the waves um, and face yourself. And this is more, I guess, of a, of a real thing um, of acknowledging your arrogance. Because we, we are just internally arrogant a little bit, I think, in, in some ways where we just don't want to accept that we are um if something's not working at the end of the day it's because it just isn't it's not it if it didn't work then it just it just truly isn't it and every now and then you might just might just be bad luck you might really be shadow banned but you probably just aren't very good at making that content and it might just take you exactly. a year to get good at it and it might take you three or four years uh, and if you're a content creator and you want this opportunity it's right here and if you're here watching this on the near on the nico show um, you have an, an obscenely unique opportunity here because there are such few eyes on Web3 that you're swimming around in a in a pond the size of a toilet compared to the, the <laughs> non-Web3 world, right? Like you're looking yeah. at like an ocean of content creators. Do you know how hard it is to become a YouTuber in the in the vlog oh, world in LA? Hard. It's almost it's damn near impossible. But to be a content creator in Web3, dude, you're picking... All you have to do is be better than like 100 other people, 200 other people, 1,000 other people. First, if you're in any other industry but Web3, you're talking about millions of content creators. There's a new TikTok account being made every one second, I think, or something absurd like that. In Web3, dude, most people don't have the balls. So if you have the balls, go with it. Turn on the camera on, write a little script, and just post the video, write the thread, do whatever you got to do. But you, you do need to, um, you got to claim that. And you got you to say, bro, I have a right to be here just like anyone else. Joe Rogan blew up and I could do it too. It's very, it is possible. And I think a, a lot of times we idolize some of these content creators. We look at threat guy, we look at Farouk and we go, bro, those guys are just, they just got something I don't got. And you're like, that is literally just not true. They thought the exact same thing when they started. Everyone started at zero followers and I'm not here with a million followers, but I can tell you it is very possible. And you'd be surprised at what can give you an opportunity. My very first episode, my very first um, foray into web three came because of a YouTube video that I posted that got 130 views. I posted it for one specific kind of person 
And that person ended up seeing it. And I got lucky and I got a job offer from that one YouTube video. And for the next six months, I worked with that company and built their branding and the content. It was like a dream scenario. And it was just because I was like, bro, screw it. I'm posting this video. Nothing yeah. special. It just happened, you know?